Hey guys, I'm Luke and welcome back to Feather Down Homestead. Today I'm going to talk about mites, red mites, those little tiny red mites in your chicken coop. Now you might not know you've got red mites, but um, if you go in there at night time and you shine your torch and you see little red things crawling along your, your perches of your chickens, those, those are mites. So uh, they suck the blood out of your chicken and if, if your chicken starts getting all pale in the comb and that, it's probably red mites in the coop and they uh, they aim for the week first up to your they can kill a whole flock within a few few days if there's enough mites in there so um I've got a coop up here that is that's pretty infested with mites um, it's probably my own doing you everyone has mites if you don't have mites you're kidding yourself everyone has mites so mites can just come from the long grass, they can just come from the sparrows eating your food. You know, there's there's heaps of ways they, they get into your coop and uh, it's just something every chicken keeper's got to deal with. So um, the way we, we manage it, or are supposed to manage it, this one's been neglected for about a month, so it's sort of uh, my own doing. So what we like to use So what we like to use in New Zealand is um, smite powder, it's uh, natural and organic, it's um, pretty much just diatomaceous earth and um, yeah that's what it comes in New Zealand from Chook Manor, um, yeah basically you clean out your coop and you puff this around in all the cracks and nooks all around your chicken coop and then you put your shavings or whatever on after and it does work pretty good because all of the mites live in all the cracks and nooks so when they come out this stuff pretty much suffocates them and when our coop is really bad like it is today we use uh, this stuff it's like a smite um, liquid it is a bit of a chemical so um, it is toxic to to the environment, so I urge you if you if you do if you do use this stuff, um, don't use the the bedding from in the coop for about a month or two in your garden. Okay, so put it somewhere else, but um, yeah, just in case it will leach into your food eventually, so it's better to be on the safe side. But yeah, we mix uh, about 30, 30 mil or 60 mil if it's a bad infestation um, per litre and we just put it into this uh, spray bottle here that uh, once we've emptied out the coop, we'll spray around the coop and, uh, and um, once, once we've emptied out the coop, we'll um, spray this around all the nooks and cracks in that and leave it for about a day, lock them out and then spray them, spray it again and we'll do that about probably three times so three days they'll be locked out of their coop and then we'll do the diatomaceous after that and then some people go to the extreme of uh, of burning the whole coop now I get it, when you've got a bad infestation you're like you know, there's there's no coming back from that. Well, there is. So, if you think about it, if you can't handle the mites now, and you burn that coop, you build another coop, you spend another couple of hundred dollars, um, and then the mites come back and go, what are you going to do? Are you going to burn it again? Mites are a part of a chicken's life. They're always going to be around. So, I would suggest don't burn your coop, but it's up to you. What I, what I do with this is um, I'll scorch the, the coop, so I'll go around all the nooks and crannies and pretty much burn those mites without burning the coop. So it's just sort of a, a light, light flame and um, it's just enough to, you'll hear that crackling of those mites dying. So I do that before I do all the spraying and that, but um, today I can't do 
this method because uh, we're in a total fire ban here up north. So, um, so today I'll just be doing the spray and the diatomaceous after a few days when it's ready. So um, I'll clean out that coop and then uh, I'll show you how I use the, the spray, eh? Okay, normally if you do have uh, bad infestation, all their combs, their bright red combs will be like pink. And that's pretty much saying you're, you're a bit late. So none of these guys have a pink comb yet. They all got red, so I've, I've caught it just in time. So you're a little bit lucky on that occasion, but um, you know, once a week you should always check at night time on your coop and, uh, and see what activity's in there. Okay, so the coop's all um, cleaned out and uh, uh, we've got our sprayer down here ready to go and our, our perch down here is removable so the reason why we've done that is um, we've got a bit of uh, bit of pipe into a bit of pipe and then made a perch on top of it so um, and then put um, some Vaseline in between to see if it will stop the, the mites from uh, crawling up and getting to the perches and the chickens which um, I thought it did work for a while, but uh, in the in the cracks in the perches in here, there are still lots of mites. So sometimes things don't go to plan, and sometimes they do. But um, yeah, I'll spray this and see how we go. Okay, so that's all done. That's all um, all sprayed. Um, so we use six liters all up. So um, when you when you spray it, you want to make sure you absolutely saturate it. You don't want to just do a little bit here and there. You want to make sure you get into every crack and you smother every last mite. Now um, I'll leave this for today. And tomorrow and the next day I might do two more two more sprays um, depending if uh, how bad it is and then I'll go and put the diatomaceous earth in it now uh, when you do this you want to make sure it's not like the hot heat of the day and it's not raining which uh, it's a little bit raining now but uh, what do you do um, and tonight also I will be shutting this coop up because I don't want any chickens going in there and you know spreading some more mites I'll just um, lock them out for two or three nights until I sort this out and of course they'll bring mites back in most probably but as long as I clean it every week or two and keep putting diatomaceous you can just always stay on top of it so yeah that's 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 that done Hey, don't you guys get smart with me. Remember, you guys are only temporarily here. They're going on Monday. They're just having a bit of a vacation in the chicken coop. But they're very noisy. Okay, so if I can get a word in. Can I get a word in, please? Okay, this stuff. Um, some people are pretty against diatomaceous earth. They reckon it gets into the lungs of the chickens and all that jargon. But um, what I say is mites are actually worse for your chickens. And I've had no problems with using this. We've been keeping chickens for a good four or five years. And we've used diatomaceous a lot and it works. 
So um, for all those skeptical people out there, Diatomaceous earth, it does do the trick. But if you've got a big infestation, start doing this. And there is other methods like uh, using diesel and all that stuff, but um, we just use what we use. And if you've got a different way of doing it, why don't you just tell us in the comments? Tell us how you get rid of your mites in your chicken coop. So, yeah, so that's about all I've got today. That's how some ways you can get rid of your, your chicken mites in your coop. And um, hopefully these lovely hens over here stay nice and healthy and keep giving me uh, nice big eggs. And um, that's about all I've got for you guys. So my voice is a bit bleh, got a bit of a throat problem. But um, thanks for watching and... Until next time, look out!